Virgo, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Virgo. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there. It is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Virgo placement propensity that is important to you, you may find messages that resonate. At the end, we will also pull some Oracle cards just to give you some more guidance for the week. And I do only take jumpers, so patience is necessary. The reading is aimed for the month of February. Time is elusive, though. Whenever this reaches you, that is when you're meant to hear it. Jumping right in, what do we have for Virgo? Ooh, jumping right in. Look at that. Who are we jumping into? What are we jumping into, Virgo? We're jumping, though. We're jumping, though. Someone's jumping. Someone's jumping. Someone's ready to jump, start over, start fresh, full energy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What else do we have for Virgo? Ooh, okay, okay, Virgo. What else? I just want to lay them all out, and we'll get into this good stuff that you got going on because this is this is good. Beautiful, beautiful energy here. I just want to flip. Nope. Okay. Mm-hmm. What else for Virgo? One more card, please. Okay bottom of the deck this week virgo we are looking at the eight of wands movement forward movement forward communication passionate communication cupid's arrows definitely a week astrologically alignment wise all that stuff for that type of thing right being in love with ourselves with the people around us with with love with romance all these type of things all all spectrums of love going on this week right Communication, movement forward, travel for some of you, but definitely movement forward emotionally, physically, passionately, energetically, whatever it is, it will be different for every single one of us. For some of y'all, you're talking to someone that you really, really like. Okay, finally, maybe. Let's jump in <laughs> with this jumping analogy, right? Past position, we're starting with the Fool card. Major Arcana and the Knight of Swords air sign energy could be relevant to you, but it seems like someone's rushing in to tell you something. More confirmation of this Eight of Wands communication energy. Someone's ready to jump. Someone's ready to take a leap of faith. It is in the past position, but you know, this could be happening now, tomorrow, whenever it happened yesterday. Someone's ready to start over. They want a new page. This could be you. Eager, eager to start fresh, eager to start something new, ready, open to move forward. With whatever it is passions very passionate energy definitely communication for some of you somebody wants to talk somebody wants to say something it's regarding some sort of new energy new start a new page right wanting to start fresh in your present position four of wands with the five of wands seeing some progress here even though the five of wands is not usually ideal but the four of wands does represent stability celebration of a milestone maybe something that there was heavy competition around maybe you were not even knowingly competing something for something but it also is an energy of change there could be some change happening to some sort of foundation in your life work foundation relationships your house this is moving right some of you might be literally moving some of you are reuniting with people, getting together with friends, celebrating. Definitely some celebration energy here. Things to be happy about, things to be proud about. Maybe after a time of conflict, internal conflict. Or this there, this could just be some jealous people that you might have to dust your shoulders off on. Once this happiness or this new start comes about, definitely could be something where there was competition around it. All right? But it is an energy of change. It also is in your timing position. So five days, five weeks could be relevant. The fifth. In your future energy, three of pentacles and major arcana, the hangman for Virgo. Coming in strong, coming in real, real strong. Coming into yourself here, body, mind, and spirit. Wherever this is, whatever this is that's aligning for you or that's getting ready to move forward. It's absolutely bringing you back to yourself very clearly. It's aligning you within yourself and it's aligning you with people, places, situations, mindsets that will benefit you, that will help you grow. Some of you might be just going back to school and getting that knowledge. See how his head's all lit up, lit up like he's, uh, aha, like he's learning, he's growing, he's seeing things that he's never seen before. 
But whatever it is, it's bringing you back to yourself. Bringing you back to yourself here. Three of Pentacles is heavy alignment energy, body, mind, and spirit. Whatever is about to happen is absolutely aligned for you. What do we have for Virgo? Definitely could be some sort of communication with the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Virgo. Virgo need to know one card for Virgo, please. <coughs> Excuse me, Virgo. Come on, Virgo, don't be hushy hushy now. Okay, let's move on to another deck. Give that one some time. What do we have for Virgo? Pleiades. Double mission, channeling, uplifting humanity. This is very much giving me, look how they're very much reflecting each other. Look how these people are floating, almost on cloud nine sort of energy, leveling up. This is definitely enlightenment. Something that's going to make you expand mentally, emotionally, physically, financially. All right. Okay, let's see what the animal oracles have for Virgo. Oi, Quaifer Spirit wanted to come out. There is always enough, number 36, which is a nine energy of completion. Koi for spirit, Pisces energy as well. There is always enough. This is definitely a mentality shift, a glass half full sort of energy, abundance energy as well. Some of you are moving forward, things that you have been investing in prior, prior are finally getting ready to take off, finally ready to, to expand. Okay, let's see if this is ready for Virgo. There we go. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Cancerian energy could be relevant to you. You guys will know what this means to you. If any of you guys have subconscious fears, maybe that you have, there's some uh, fears. Well, we do have the four of wands here, which does speak to family and stability in our home life. Maybe there has been some drama around that. If there is, you are fine. You are blessed. You are protected. You and everybody that you love, everybody involved in the situation. Looks like the universe might be just moving some things around so you can get on this path, so you can get going here, Virgo. That is your reading. I really do hope it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment if it does. And I will see you all next week.